Good afternoon. Welcome to WJZ.com. After overnight clouds, we've had some nice clearing through the late morning, midday, and early afternoon. A few high clouds are now entering the region. And let me go ahead and show you why. There's an upper air disturbance sitting out to our west. This moisture isn't going to get to us. But as it passes by to our northwest, some of the cloud shield will come across the area. Temperatures going to about 46 degrees this day. I point that out because earlier we had been thinking 42 or 43. Overnight clouds kept us mild in the low mid 30s. They broke up early. We got some sunshine in by about 7 o'clock, and hence the bump up in temperatures. This isn't the big weather story we want to talk about. That's the big weather story we want to begin to discuss. It's an area of low pressure. It's gathering some moisture. That is going to begin to head our way. There's no surprise here. This has been a part of the forecast discussion for a couple of days. We're going to be on the warm side of this moisture laden low as it comes up the coast. The question is, what's the impact going to be on us as we move through the entire weekend? We know for a fact we're going to start to see some rain in here. Uh, as early as Friday afternoon, maybe some heavy rain Friday night. Then periods of rain on Saturday with rain continuing through Sunday morning. And in the forecast I'm getting ready to present to you, we're going to keep scattered showers in the outlook through Sunday afternoon. But here's the rub, okay? There is definitely something we need to discuss, and that is the European computer model. I've moved the future cast up to 4 a.m. on Friday, and I want you to note, by late afternoon, early evening, there comes that rain into the region. The European model is getting rain out of here by Sunday at the latest midday. The American model is not. And what we're looking at here is the American model. I want you to note there'll be lows bookending the mid-Atlantic on Sunday at 4 a.m. We're still in the midst of some pretty good moisture, which could continue through midday with a couple of passing showers winging across the area. Remember, lows moving counterclockwise will tend to rotate some moisture around them. Again, right now, as of the, the making of this presentation, European model is getting that out of here. So what we're going to have to do is, you know, watch. It's only Wednesday. Watch and see how this evolves. I will tell you this. The European model is a pretty darn good model for forecasting American weather. Conversely, the American model is pretty darn good for forecasting the Europeans. I'd like to say it has to do with budget requirements and inflated numbers, but I'm not the one saying that. Sun, some clouds today, 46 degrees overnight tonight, becoming partly cloudy, 32 degrees. Look, these forecasters worldwide do a great job with some tremendous computer modeling that's been designed over the past, well, just in a digital age, it gets better and better every year. But what we're going to say is trending better on Sunday and see how it goes. 44, 50, 52, essentially almost 50 degrees Sunday and Monday. Then Tuesday, rain gets out of the forecast for sure. Sunshine in 44 degrees. So whether you're doing the Ravens or just wanting to do a Sunday, uh, just hold all tickets. Let's not, let's not cancel any plans or get depressed about that just yet. Thanks so much for stopping by WJZ.com.